Welcome to lecture four, part 4B on basic inorganic chemistry. My name is Dr. Teresa Chimamba. In lecture four, part 4A, we talked about compounds. We discussed about homogeneous and heterogeneous solutions. We talked about how to identify pure substances. We talked about physical and chemical properties. In today's lecture, we will discuss about molecules and differentiate between compounds and molecules. A molecule is formed when two or more elements combine together. The two elements can be the same or they can be different. So when you combine one oxygen plus another oxygen, you form oxygen molecule. So in this case, the two elements are the same. The two elements can also be different. So for instance, when you combine two hydrogen atoms plus one oxygen atom, you will form water molecule. So this is also an example of a molecule. When you combine two hydrogen atoms, it will form hydrogen molecule. So these are examples of molecules. So a molecule can be formed from two elements that are the same, or it can be formed from two elements that are different. When two or more different elements combined, a compound is formed. So for a compound, the two elements must be different. For instance, in sodium chloride, we have sodium plus chlorine. So there are two different elements. So for a compound to be formed, there must be at least two different elements. Right. Not all molecules are compounds. And the reason is because some molecules such as hydrogen gas, as you can see here, or ozone, as you can see here, have only one type of element. So because some molecules have only one type of element, they are not qualified to be classified as compounds because a compound must have at least two different elements. Compounds that have two elements are called binary compounds. An example is sodium chloride. It has sodium and it has chlorine, so two different elements combined to form this sodium chloride. The sodium chloride is an example of a binary compound. When three or more elements are combined, that compound is called polyatomic compound. An example is H2SO4. You can see it has three different elements. It has hydrogen, it has sulfur, and it has oxygen. So examples of molecules are water molecule. So it has oxygen and hydrogen. Remember a molecule can be formed from two different elements and it can be formed from the same elements. So the two elements can be the same or, or they can be different. So this is another example of molecule. This is another example of a molecule, ozone. Examples of compounds are sodium chloride. You can see it is a compound because it has two different elements. Another example is water. So water is an example of a compound because it has two different elements. Carbon dioxide is another example of compound because it has two different elements. You notice that water is a compound and water is also a molecule. 
because a molecule can contain two different elements and it can contain two elements that are the same. So that's why water is a molecule and also a compound. So we now look at how to write different compounds formulae. All compounds must have overall zero charge. This means that charges of ions in any compound must add up to zero. Sodium chloride, for example, sodium has positive charge, chlorine has negative charge, positive and negative equal to zero. That's why sodium chloride exists as neutral compound. Let's have a look at other examples. Calcium hydroxide. Why does it exist as a neutral compound? So calcium has a positive charge of plus two and we have two OH minus. So two negative, two positive equal to zero. That's why calcium hydroxide is neutral. Another example is water molecule. So for water, we have 2H plus and oxygen 2 minus. So 2 negative, 2 positive equal to 0. So water has an overall zero charge. Potassium hydroxide is another example. So potassium has a positive charge and OH has a negative charge. So negative and positive equal to zero. That's why potassium hydroxide is neutral. So subscripts are used to denote more than one element in a compound. Example, for this compound, this subscript two shows that there are two carbon atoms. This five shows that there are five hydrogen atoms. Let's look at ions. An ion is formed when the number of protons in an atom is not equal to the number of electrons. So an ion results when the number of protons is not equal to the number of electrons in an atom. An ion can either have a positive charge or it can have a negative charge. When an atom gains electrons, it becomes negatively charged and it is called an anion. When an atom gives out electrons, it becomes positively charged and is called a cation. So an example is for example, from sodium chloride, sodium chloride is made up of sodium with a positive charge and chlorine with a negative charge. So sodium with a positive charge is known as cation, while chlorine with a negative charge is known as anion. So a cation is positively charged while an anion is negatively charged. So this is where I'm gonna end today's lecture. Please like this video and subscribe and I'm gonna see you in the next lecture.